Hey, what's going on guys? Joe Rock here with another tips and tricks video on Android Studio. So in particular, this video is going to be focusing in Gradle. And if you have been working in Android Studio, uh, you're, you're at least somewhat familiar with Gradle. And probably uh, the first thing that you've done in Gradle, I know is for me, is to add and uh, edit your dependencies. So if you want to do like your support library dependencies and you want to add one, you would add it here. Um, so the, and that's what we're going to be going over. So notice that if this looks familiar to you. Um, notice that this is highlighted and what it's telling me in here at Gradle is that the SDK version that I have is high. I have a higher version and a more up to date version than the one I'm actually referencing. So um, whenever I download my SDK and I update it, I'm going to get uh, if, if there is a new support library in this case, I'll get I'll get it. But then I that won't change here in my project. So all and uh, the Gradle build is telling me is that I just to make me aware of it, and then I should change it if I'm not aware of it, and if I want to, here's what to do it. So I could come into here and I can change it to it wants me to change it to uh, 233. So I can come into here and I can change it here, and notice that the highlighting goes away, and then all the and then I can just do a sync, and um, everything should be good. So. The tip here is to instead of doing that and having hard set values, this makes it easier to, to, to maintain and saves you a little time, but most importantly, makes it easier to maintain is we can do, um, we can create a variable and then have that reference throughout the, the relevant dependencies. So the way I can do that is I can denote it by this syntax and then create a variable name name it whatever I like, and then of course give it a value. So I'll give it this value of 23.2. And then in here, what I can do is then reference it. And the way you reference it is dollar sign, open curly brace, and then the name. But notice that you're gonna, we're gonna get a error here. And I wanted to point this out because a lot of us use single quotes, and this is the reason why we're getting this error. If we hover over it, we can see that it says a uh, groovy string interpolation that we must use double quotes. So, um, and, I, and then before just, like, I, I could have just put double quotes and everything would have worked fine the first time. But because I think that single quotes is very, very common um, in here, I know a lot of like a lot of Stack Overflow posts, you'll see the single quote notation. And uh, because of that, it's very likely that you guys have that same notation. And um, I just wanted to point that out that you will have to change it to double quotes in order for, for Groovy to be able to pick it up. All right, so I will go ahead and do that now for these ones. Change it here, here, and here. And notice what's cool about this, uh, besides it actually fixing the problem, is that now what we can do is when we open up the braces, we start getting IntelliSense. And who doesn't love IntelliSense, right? So I'll change that here. And there we have it. So notice that it the, the highlighting has gone away, yet we're still using the outdated library. And that's because um, now that you don't have it hard set, it doesn't uh, pick up on that quite as quickly, but it still does. So after you do a sync, Gradle will um, pick it up on it and say, oh, okay, um, you're using 23.2, which is the out-of-date version. So it's still gonna show you, it's just not going to know, it's not gonna change live when it's not hard set, but I still think that's pretty good good enough for me to be able to be warned that I'm using an out-of-date version. So now when I come into here and whenever I, whenever I want to change a version, this is going to save me time and it's going to ensure that I'm not making any typos and cross-referencing uh, cross versions throughout the, the support library or really any dependency for that matter. So once I change that here, I'll do a sync and that'll propagate down to all the dependencies and I'm good to go. Something I, I've, I've used often and I feel that it's definitely a good quick tip. Easier and just a maintainable code in your Gradle build files. Alright, thanks for watching guys.